We have snow! I think it's beginning to melt though. Oh. Yay! It's Christmas! Well, I wasn't expecting to wake up to that this morning, but it's snowing! I don't like to think it'll last, though, to be fair, but it's nice to wake up to. Hi! So, what have I done today? I haven't done a, very, I haven't done a lot, to be honest. Um, today, I have just literally brought the kids to school. I uh, went to B&M and had a look around. I went to Lidl as well and went to the pound shop and show you what I got. Okay, so I got this. It's um, a giant Christmas window... Giant Christmas window cling. So I got that for the kitchen window. I'm not putting up my usual lights because I just don't want the hassle. I also got this. It's a little um, banner. Chris just says Merry Christmas, but I thought it'd be cute on my backdrop for my makeup videos. And I bought this because I just thought it was so cute. Pack of four cutlery holders and it was 2 50 I love because me and the boys, we love the Nutcracker movie. So I just thought it'd be really, really sweet to have these. And they just look so cute. And I got my Mikados because I want to have movie night. Oh, they're called Jam Mallows. They used to be called Mikados. Kimberly and Mikados. I don't know. That's them anyhow. They're obviously an English version of something. Bowlands, what's going on here? I need to look into that. I never knew they were called Jam Mallows before. They were always called Mikados. I don't know, something funny about that. Then I got these little... Um, the Snowman and the Snow Dog uh, Marshmallows. My neighbour gave the boys some of these and now they love them. And then I picked up a few little bits for the um, stock for the stockings, really, for the Santa socks. Um, this I bought because I took the um, the Santa cam off the ceiling, and when I took it off, I ripped the tape off the back of it. So I needed some stuff that put back up now. So that'll be in action. And we got these little um, coloring books for the boys, and it comes with lovely stickers. These were literally only a pound, so that was such good value. I love these stickers, and I got one for myself because I'm getting a Christmas bag this year. Santi's coming to me and this is my colouring book which again was only a pound in the pound shop and it just I love colour and I find it so relaxing having all these little pictures of Christmas that'll keep me going for the whole year I'd say because it's quite a hefty little book for a pound so in the evenings at night time before I go to sleep I wind down I listen to some meditation music and just relax doing some colouring. I know some people find that strange that I do that, but I don't really care. <laughs> it chills me out. Keeps me calm, so that's, I like that. I like being calm. I don't like I don't like being het up or having any stresses. Oh, I also bought these in Lidl. It's their um I don't know how you pronounce that word, but it's their assortment. So boys, we're gonna taste these tonight. I think they should be nice. They look really cute. Lots of sugar in them, obviously, but uh Spiced biscuits. That should be really nice. The boys are like that with a hot chocolate, I think. We're watching Christmas Chronicles again. The movie's only out a few weeks and we've watched it a million times already. So that was my little shopping haul this morning. So that's the Santa cam there. And basically what happens is you press it. Oh, if I can reach it. And when Santa Claus is watching in on you, checking in, making sure you've been good, it flashes like this. So I had to take the batteries out and redo it. So that's what I've done. So thank God that's done now. Hi guys, I just thought I'd come on and do a little voiceover of my making cherry scones um, demonstration here. Just thought it'd be easier for you. I will probably do um, notes underneath it um, later on, but for now I'm going to just do the voiceover and see how we get on. So what I'm doing here is I am putting my flour into a bowl and measuring out the quantity, which is eight ounces of self-raising flour. Now you don't... Um, always have to use self-raising you can use plain flour but for me personally I prefer the self-raising because it just gives it more of a lift now I'm also going to add one teaspoon of baking powder and then a little bit of salt and sieve it quite high not high that you're gonna put the flour and the mixture all over the place but just high enough above the bowl and gently tap your sieve so that it all goes into the bowl nice and neatly and it's not causing such a mess. Now the next thing I'm putting in is one ounce of caster sugar.
and I'm using two ounces of butter. Now what I do with the butter is I put it into the microwave for 30 seconds and just make it nice and soft. Just so that it's easier for me to blend into the mixture because I don't actually like getting my hands in with the mixture so I find that if you put the um, the melted butter in a little at a time now I know if, as you can see here I'm actually after just throwing it all in but if you put it in a little at a time you will get a nicer consistency that's just from my trial and error and then you won't actually have to get your hands in and to rub it usually people what they do is they put the butter in and then rub it um, rub the flour and the butter between their fingers to give it that nice consistency but you won't need to do that if you use the melted butter in a little and often manner now next I'm putting in is a quarter pint of milk and again little and often and just keep stirring it up until you get that dough consistency. Now next I'm going to put in my cherries or whatever fruit you like, you can use anything. Now what I'm doing is I'm getting a little tea towel and I'm going to leave it there for 15 minutes just covering it so that it gives it time to rise and to set. Now I've just floured my counter and I'm going to take out my mixture and start kneading it. Now some people don't knead their dough but I feel it gives me more control over it if I do knead it. Plus it also makes the dough not so sticky that when it goes onto my, um, when I'm using my rolling pin on it, it doesn't stick to it. And when you're kneading it, when you're putting your dough out onto the counter for the first time, always pull it from the top and then down. Because if you pull it from the bottom and then up, it's going to be too sticky and you're not going to have enough control over it. So always pull it from the top and then down to the bottom. And then roll it out with your rolling pin to one inch thickness and then take your cutters and just cut away until you have all your dough used up and then just roll it back into a ball again and then take your pin and just roll it out to again about an inch thickness or a half an inch it depends on what you want and keep going like that until it's all done now what I'm using here is an egg wash, which basically is one egg in a bowl, beaten up, and just getting your little brush and going over all your scones with it. And what it does is it gives them a nice golden brown color when they're finished cooking. Now they're all ready to go into the oven at 200 degrees. I don't know what that is on most things, but I think it's Celsius, maybe. I don't know, just 200 or whatever that is. I think that might be gas mark nine, I think. I'm not sure, but check your appliance anyhow. It's 200 or something. Uh, I put them in the oven for 10 minutes. And make sure that oven is preheated. I should have said that at the start. Now that's not because I burnt them. That's because I have chips on underneath them. And there you have it, lovely cherry scones. A little bit of snowman epicness. Hi folks, I just want to come back on and say goodbye to everybody. It's like, I have no idea what time it even is, it's so late. I swear all I've done today is bake and bake and bake. I, I did one batch of scones and literally as soon as they cooled, the kids just gobbled them up and I was like, oh, so there's none left for anybody else. I didn't even get to have one. And then I was like, right, I better make bake some more because they were supposed to last a while. So I baked a second batch. And then the kids ate two each of them. I think I made ten. And yeah, the kids had two each. So that's six. So then I hid the other four because I was like, that's it, I'm not making any more. Then I was like, no, I better make better make more. So I've made some more now. So hopefully they'll last the morning if the kids don't get up to try the night and eat my scones. I'm going to go mental. But um, yeah, they were very, very tasty. They were cherry scones. So 
yeah that's all I've done today is bake bake and bake so that'll be the end of it now tomorrow I don't know what we're doing I have a few Christmas prezies to sort out tomorrow and just try and do that do that kind of thing so what are we doing tomorrow tomorrow is Saturday so it usually consists of a late breakfast homework um, I know the boys want to watch um, Paddington's Christmas special tomorrow it's on at half nine so I'd say we'll be up before that um, but I would love a lie in that would be very very nice um, then we're going to write our Christmas letters I think to Santi I hope um, time's ticking so hopefully we'll all do that tomorrow yes mommy does it too and yeah might make something else no idea what I'm going to make I have a thing for pasta I think I might make some pasta maybe like a carbonara oh I love a carbonara I'll see what the kids want in the morning anyhow other than that I am literally just going to do my skin car routine for the night and I'm going to, going to put on this mask which I got for one pound reduced in um, boots so it's a hyaluronic serum mask that seems like a lot of that serum but we'll see the quantity of one bottle of serum for your skin Ooh! the hyaluron shot Jesus what did they do oh so fold one and then fold two oh have I just done something oh I have oh oh it's moving Oh, did you look at that? Oh, see, so it burst it here and then it goes up in there. All right. What kind of contraption is that? I thought it was going to burst out on me. So it says I have to wait one minute for this to totally infuse into the mask, which would seem about right. And then leave the mask on for, I think it says five minutes. Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. I can do that. Okay. It's very strange. I've never seen a mask like this before. Okay, so I'm going to keep messing with this until I get it. And I will love you all and leave you. A good night and have good dreams. Good night. Thanks for watching. Mwah.